What a thought-provoking, inspiring, and extremely relevant read. The Do More Club not only warmed my heart, but it's an important reminder to all that kindness comes in many forms, and that can be shared in big or small acts. The Do More Club features protagonist Josh and his friends on a mission to spread kindness and do more for their community, school, and each other. One horrible day, a swastika is discovered spray-painted in red along the walls of Josh's middle school. An act of hatred, one that should never be condoned, and should never have even happened in the first place. This cruel action prompts a series of assemblies built upon the messages of never again and growing into a better person. Lots of students love the assemblies. They're making new friends and growing into more accepting people. But there's one boy in particular, Gavin, who hates the assemblies. He's fueled only with hate. He believes all the lies told to him about Jews. By maybe his family, maybe from the internet, or maybe from his own heart. He claims that the Holocaust never happened and that Jews are rotten. Then you have Josh, the only Jewish boy in his school who never thought he'd reveal his Jewish identity, especially after the cruelty towards Jews displayed at his school. But his secret is revealed, and it's as if a weight is lifted off of his shoulders. But it also inspires him. He wants to stop all forms of hate. He wants to do more, and so do many other students. So Josh creates the Do More Club, and it becomes very popular. You'd think that ending on a positive note with everyone doing more would be where this story comes to a close. But Josh's life is about to get a whole lot more complicated. To find out what happens next, you're going to need to read The Do More Club by Dana Karamov to find out for yourself. This is a book that touched my heart in more ways than one. Like Josh, I've also had anti-Semitism directed towards me in my middle school because I'm one of the only Jews at my school. Though there were no huge acts of hatred like massive swastikas drawn, I've had to deal with many anti-Semitic gestures, and I've experienced so much, and my heart hurts for Josh in the same way that his heart hurts for himself. I see myself in Josh. He see the eyes of the windows to the soul, and if I saw Josh in person, I would see a spark, a flame ignited in his heart. He so greatly wants to change the world, and I love that about him. Zena Karamov brilliantly, eloquently wrote Josh into this story, and this book is a window and a mirror for all kids. I love this story, and I hope that you'll join my E-Train Talks book club in November, where we'll talk all things Do More Club together, and even meet with the amazing author Dana Karamov virtually. This is a compelling, timely, and page-turning 10 out of 10 read. I know you're going to love it, just like me.